I'm Pat Grimes and this is Experience CTN, where we're going to learn more about CTN's volunteers and producers who have supported community media over the past years. I'm here with community producer Zach Damon. Good to have you with us today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having Absolutely. me, Pat. Absolutely. And how did you, I know you've been with CTN for like 14 years, yeah. um, and how did you first begin with the group? Yeah, uh, good question. Um, well, I think uh, I was very lucky and fortunate to grow up in the city of Ann Arbor, um, and I had a really close friend of mine, uh, Lucy Ann Lance, who is a great local broadcaster uh, here in the city, has a great history uh, of media uh, here, and has done a lot of great things for the community. Uh, at the time, uh, she uh, also worked for uh, the community television network, and I didn't know that at the time, but she had seen me uh, and had known me from a young age, and she had known that I had kind of taken to uh, the media field and wanted to uh, encourage me and support me through that. And she had said, well, hey, Zach, you know, why don't you um, check out the community television network? We have one here right in Ann Arbor. And of course, being young, I had nodded and said, oh, yeah, you know, that would be so much fun. Uh, but didn't really uh, get into it that first time. And then I had, saw, I had seen her uh, again. And it was probably about six months to a year later. And she had seen me again, and she goes, hey, you know, uh, you should uh, really check out CTN. I think it would be up your alley. And so after that second time, um, I did. You know, I took her up on it. And, uh, you know, when I started, uh, CTN was actually, I think it was the uh, Edison Center right downtown. Uh, and it was in this, you know, really sort of uh, energetic center of the city. There was a lot right. going on uh, near downtown, and, of course, when you go in the building, you had to sort of go all the way down to the first level uh, to where CTN was. And so it was kind of cool because it was kind of in this sort of, you know, like uh, very, very sort of, you know, dark kind of, you know, art, you know, avant-garde place. Right. right. You go in and it's dark and you're like, then you got to go down this long hallway and you're like, what the heck is, this? what's going on? Uh, and, uh, but you get in there and then you go down the hallway and then once you get through uh, the glass doors, you just see this really cool CTN uh you know, fluorescent neon sign that sort of just lit up the way. Uh, and it was, it was really neat. Um, they should bring that back. Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah. And um, so you saw that. And I remember just sort of feeling uh, the energy. And it was probably from the electronics, but I'd like to think from, <laughs> uh, from the people there also. But, um, you know, just a great energy there. And, uh, you know, I thought to myself when I was younger, I said, gee, you know, uh, should I walk through here or shouldn't I? And I ended up just walking through and have been involved ever since. And, um, you know, it's really just a, a great group of staff, a great group of people. Uh, even when the staff changes, I think all the new staff that comes in, uh, they're dedicated, they're passionate about media, uh, and more importantly, they're passionate about their community and being able to um, utilize uh, the community resource that is CTN. So I think it's a great thing. Absolutely, and I know we get a lot of volunteers coming into CTN for different events and things. And what was your first volunteer experience like? Oh, yeah, my first volunteer experience, well, I was actually um, hired on by now uh, manager Greg McDonald, and he had interviewed me for the first time. And um, I came on as a student intern in high school. I was a student at Pioneer. And um, so I came in as a student intern, and that was sort of my first volunteer experience. And uh, I mean, I was doing everything from like, um, you know, like stuffing envelopes and <laughs> putting, putting it, yeah, and putting <laughs> it in the mail to like uh, then. Being able, being able to like cable cast uh, VHS tapes <laughs> and uh, in programming, uh, and then being able to uh, to help out uh, with productions uh, in the evening. So like doing name graphics and you know doing uh, the switcher and you know learning about you know the different transitions uh, between camera shots and right. things like that. So uh, it was a great experience, and that was my first volunteer experience. I've actually been interning as well, so it's been a fun volunteer experience. Yeah. Tonight. All the stuff you were just describing. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great experience, yeah. isn't it? And people are very receptive. I think the great thing about uh, community television, but also community television network uh, of Ann Arbor, is that there's no question that's a bad question. Right. Very and true. all the staff are, you know, willing to help you. It's a great learning experience. And they offer a lot of workshops here at CTN. Are there yeah. any of those that you've done? Or? Yeah, yep. Actually, it was interesting. I was just going through my files recently, and I came across my old uh, remote camera uh, workshop certificate what? <laughs> uh, from CTN. Yeah, it was like That's so cool. old it was like yellow, <laughs> but uh, but like um, I came across like the remote workshop um, because in order to 
you know, check out equipment and take it out on location around the city, you've got to be able to do that, uh, that training course. And so I've done that one. I've done the Hotline Studio and then obviously like the studio training course too. And, you know, they're a lot of fun. They're really informative because often um, you can do them with a group of people. And so you guys are doing it together. Right. And, you, and you kind of, um, you know, learn from each other. You, you learn to work as a team and as a crew. Uh, but then you come away uh, with so much knowledge. And they do a great job too of providing you with, you know, the tools necessary to be able to run the equipment. And then I know you produce a lot of your own shows, like I yeah. know Ann Arbor Tonight and things yep. like that. How did you get started with those ideas for coming up with your own content? Yeah, uh, good question. Um, I think, well, from a young age, like I knew I wanted to work in, you know, television and, and film and theater. I knew that media was for me. Um, so it was just something that, that clicked. Uh, but in terms of the hot seat with Zach Damon, which was the original um, project that I started in high school to transitioning to Ann Arbor tonight. Um, uh, you know, I had come up with the idea because, you know, it, it was um, w when different types of media formats came out, you know, it, we were really in a, in a great time, right, in the 90s and the early millennia and, and 2000s, because that's when, like, YouTube and Facebook and MySpace even, you know, doing a little throwback. Right, um, yeah, MySpace. Yeah, um, like, that's when all that stuff really started to become prevalent. And the cool thing is, is it, it gave many of us a platform to be able to create our own demos and to be able to create our own like, you know, audition tapes or reel to be able to get our faces out there if that's what we wanted to do. And so that was really um, kind of a secondary thought for me though. Right. You know, I just kind of said, well, gee, you know, um, I know where the studios are in Southfield, but it's, it's, you know, just with my schedule and how things are now, I'm really young also. So, you know, I think right now it's just best for me to learn and get experience. And then once I have experience, um, I can move forward and, you know, try to try to go to those, you know, local stations and see what can happen. So I think that was really the goal. Um, but then as I got, you know, more into uh, community producing uh, down the road, I started to say, oh, man, well, I still have that goal. But the great thing about doing a community project is that you're also, you know, the, the way that it's set up is that you use volunteers, right, for your productions. Right. And so the great thing about that is you're already doing a great service uh, for your community by producing because you're giving volunteers a platform to be able to learn and expand their skills. And really that's what it's about is I really enjoy being able to get better uh, as a performer uh, and also as a director and as a, as a producer. Right. Um, but I also really enjoy the fact um, that I can help others at the same exact time. And so uh, I think that's what's really special about community media and community television network of Ann Arbor is they really embrace the fact, again, that it's a community and that people that have a passion for it, or even if it's just their hobby, right. uh, they support that. That's awesome. I totally agree. Um, and of all the stuff that you've done since you've been with us for a while, do you have any specific memories that stand out as like your favorite or? Mm. Man, let's see. Uh, well. Hmm, that's tough. I, I think they're also great. Yeah, us. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they all kind of like they all kind of right. like blend together. I think uh, in, in a lot of ways. But I would say one of my favorite memories um, was I had an opportunity when I was doing, you know, the hot seat uh, mm -hmm. with Zach Damon. I had an opportunity to just interview a lot of, you know, great coaches, uh, great people from the University of Michigan, uh, and that was a great experience because I got to really sort of dive into what their philosophies were. Uh, not just as coaches uh, and figures in athletics or at the university, but as people. And I think it's important um, that if you have people that you look up to or that you aspire to sort of, you know, want to be or have a career similar to, you know, do that research, do right. that homework. If you don't have an opportunity to, to, to talk with them in person uh, about their specific fields, uh, the information is out there. They get asked those questions. Right. And so research those people that you want to sort of, emulate because there's nothing wrong with taking something that's been successful and emulating similar behaviors right there's nothing wrong Absolutely. with that and so I just encourage you know people out there that are young and or older but still want to get into media if you want to do it well uh, and you want to put out you know a great product you know definitely invest yourself and be fully invested in what they have to offer you know and uh, just, good advice. just keep Absolutely. moving forward yeah and then for the people watching who are maybe like thinking they want to do something here, but they're on the fence. Like, what would you say to them to kind of 
entice yeah. them to go through the, the neon sign or whatever, <laughs> like you said before. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, first of all, I think the real question is, why not? You know, Absolutely. Um, you don't necessarily, uh, you know, the biggest obstacle, my grandfather has told me this uh, my entire life, and he still tells me it today. You know, he's 89 years old, and, um, you know, he said the biggest obstacle to success in anything that you want to do is fear. So uh, my biggest question to those people is just why not? You know, what do you have to lose? If you come to a class and you realize that it's not for you, that's okay. You can go home and do other things. But you won't know that until you come take a training course at the Community Television Network. And, you know, I know that others may say uh, that, you know, oh, well, I've taken classes at Washtenaw, so I need, or not Washtenaw, they do a great job, but just other places around the right. community, you know, and they say, oh, well, I don't need to necessarily utilize Community Television Network of Ann Arbor because there's all these other resources. Like YouTube, as you said earlier, yeah. or things like that. But, but, you know, people, you know, I think knowledge is power. So you don't really know until you have an opportunity and, and come to experience it. So even though, folks, you've done these other things, um, you know, have an opportunity to just uh, come to the Community Television Network of Ann Arbor because you never know what can happen. You never know the connections that you can make and the great quality of work that you can possibly uh, become involved in. So. That's true. Very good advice. So what's next for you on your journey? Like, what, what are you <laughs> yeah, looking you forward know, to next? Thanks. That's a good question. Um, you know, I'm hoping for me what's next is I can just continue with, you know, production of Ann Arbor tonight. Um, you know, we're in season two now. And that's great. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's been a great experience, you know. It's, um, it's a bit, it's a lot, uh, you know, it's a big bite to chew. Right. You know, of course, doing a, a full-fledged, you know, uh, our show uh, at the Community Television Network of Ann Arbor and everything. And I know uh, that it was a big project from many different views. Um, but the fact that we're able to get it done and that the Community Television Network of Ann Arbor has been very gracious uh, in, uh, you know, allowing me to use their studio. And then even at times, too, um, you know, helping out when needed. Uh, it's just been a great experience. So what's next for me right now is to just keep building Ann Arbor tonight and uh, doing my best uh, to support media and community media as a whole. Absolutely. And uh, I definitely uh, wish the best for CTN. Now, as I was talking to you earlier, you were talking about how it's like a variety show, so you have all different types of stuff on there. Like, yeah. What are the types of entertainment that you focus on? Yeah, um, so it is. Ann Arbor Tonight has the late night variety show format. So, you know, I like to tell people that it's, you know, kind of like the Tonight Show with Fallon, but for Ann Arbor, by Ann Arbor, and has Ann Arbor's flavor, right? Like, there's all kinds of different pies, yeah. but there's only like, you know, one flavor of Ann Arbor, one beat of the city of Ann Arbor. So... Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of the, the, the gist of it is that we have, you know, we have a opening comedic monologue, uh, with some jokes and then we have, uh, you know, live bands and, uh, uh, live comedian as well, who is usually showcasing at the wonderful Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if you've been there. It's a great club. So I have not, but I'll need oh, to check that out. For yeah, sure. definitely. definitely. And, um, sure. and we have like a live audience too, of about 20 or 30 people and it's just a lot of fun, you know, and, um. Like I said, I'm really happy to do it, and it's a lot of fun, and hopefully the show can just continue to build. Well, we actually, do you want to take a look at your reel? Oh. We actually have some clips with us if you want oh to take gosh, a look at it. Oh, my gosh, do you really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right. Real quick, I mean, you talk about all these goals you guys have set for this season. You talk about all the wrestlers that have came and gone. You talk about the things that you've been able to accomplish to accomplish in the past seasons and, and things you want to accomplish next season. Can you talk about uh, some of the seniors you got coming up this year and what kind of leadership roles that you expect uh, out of your seniors and what kind of things that you are expecting them to do? Yeah, we have, uh, you know, as far as our upperclassmen, um, we've got a number of uh, uh, you know, leaders in, in, in the program. Uh, All right, coming up on Ann Arbor tonight, we have a great show for you today. The Ben Daniels Band is here. Yeah. All right. We have Ricard Lowe Flanagan. We have comedian Billy Ray Bauer. Yes. Oh, and wait for this, folks. We have Ari from Zingerman's in the house. All right. To see you again, uh, you know, you were... Yeah. You were just a, a. You were ready to do this when we met you when you were six. Oh, you were you. totally yeah, wow. ready for television. You just television. had to grow into the suit. That was all. You didn't know <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, right. 
had but, to uh, yeah, it's great. We brought him on stage for the first time, and he wasn't even nervous at all. I said, oh, this no. kid's going to go far. Right? <laughs> no, I remember that. You guys were like, excuse me, Zach, can we have the mic back? we got to do a show. <laughs> well, we were, can we have the mic back? Yes. You know, and, uh, your association vision is basically a world without Alzheimer's mm -hmm. disease, right? Now, yeah. why do you feel, personally, that this mission is important? Mm-hmm. Um, well, going back to uh, the School of Social Work that I went into, we had 400 incoming students. Okay. And out of those 400 students, only 19 focused on geriatric social work and things wow. that are affecting older adult populations. Mm -hmm. And right now, about 10 to 12,000 people every day in the U.S. are turning 65. So the population is growing, and there's going to be more and more people who are needing care. Mm. And so I think that the Alzheimer's Association is really on the cutting edge of, you know, providing this care and trying to uh, make sure that we have resources and structures in place for these people who are aging and who this disease might, you know, continue to affect. <laughs> man, you guys pulled out the vault on this. <laughs> my was it goodness. weird to see? Yeah, man, it was great. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. I mean, everything. Uh, the hot seat in Ann Arbor inclusive in Ann Arbor tonight, my goodness. That was, uh, that was my goodness, like, I guess you don't realize, uh, you know, everything you're doing while you're doing it. Right. Because uh, uh, you're so caught up in, you know, just the planning and execution. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was just great to see, and um, thank you for, for playing that. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was great to watch. Yeah. And as um, you said earlier when I was talking to you, you said that Michigan's one of the only states that has a place like CTN. So why do you think that's so important? Yeah, well, I mean, I know uh, they're one of the oldest, I think. And so, um, yeah, I think uh, wh why it's important uh, is I think that community media, again, you know, is just a great platform right. uh, for people in general. You know, I mean, I know... Uh, for instance, uh, if there's a, you know, an emergency and the city needs to know about it, um, you know, the, the mayor of Ann Arbor or right. city administrators can come on and have a platform to be able to notify the city. Uh, but from an entertainment perspective uh, and from a learning perspective, you know, anybody, again, that lives in the city uh, and is a resident of the great city of Ann Arbor, they can come in and utilize this. And I think the reason that community television stations and, you know, public access stations are important is because it gives people an avenue to be able to use a studio without paying, you know, $1,200, right, right, for the day or Absolutely. $600 uh, for a half hour. So unfortunately, if you don't have, you know, that those finances in your pocket to be able to do that, uh, you still have an opportunity to learn and build the resume and be able to achieve your dream. And I think that's definitely important. I mean, you know, I encourage, again, all residents, whether they are interested in media or not, you know, to support community media because at the end of the day, it's really a foundation. Uh, you know, you look at, um, you know, shows like Mr. Rogers who, you know, started on, you know, public media with public stations. You know, it's very important. I completely agree, and you made a lot of good points. Thank you for being with us today and talking to me. Hey. Jack, it's been a pleasure. Pat, uh, the pleasure's all mine, and I wish you the best. And Thank you. Uh, thank you again to the Community Television Network of Ann Arbor. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future episodes. In the meantime, why not come in and experience all we have to offer for yourself? Visit us online at a2gov.org slash ctn. Follow on Twitter and Facebook at CTN Ann Arbor. I want to thank our crew, Robert Horn, Natalia Tejeya, Pamela Mohar, Gage Shaughnessy, and Alicia May. And I'm your host, Pat Grimes. See you next time.